Hello everyone, welcome back to more Octopath Traveler. Last time we finished Haunted's Chapter 4, which is funny because she's not even in the party right now. And uh, Marcelin, we beat Red Eye, we killed him. Xanta has been freed from his stone curse. And uh, he's got some stuff for us too. Haunted's master, the fellow hunter of Swarky. He and his dire wolf Hagen travel across the realm, leaving epic tales of their deeds in their wake. Though childish at times, his demeanor changes when on a hunt. Reflecting the wisdom of his years. And get the rare stone. And we'll buy your bow. Because oh my god. This is a very good bow. Look at that. And occasion decreases the target's physical defense. Those multi-hit moves. That could really trigger it quite often. I think you're also new. Oh, he was from um, Victor's Hollow as well. Okay. Stick with the dagger. Bop with one and Bump him one with a staff, set him on fire, or shock him with a lantern. Anything is served. To, any, any will serve to tame the beastmaster. I take your stuff. What? I wonder if this is. You fucking ah, there again! Damn it! I hate to get stuff from him too. Eighty percent, my dude. There again. 80%! 80, not 8. 80, what is going on? <laughs> you failed this, thank you! Oh my god. Therian. Therian, my dude. M my, my dude, come on now. Alright, normally we go finish uh, up stuff in Marcelin real quick. Before we move on, but I want to get... First and foremost, I want to get our final shrine job. So we're going to Everhold, where that is going to be. Alright, uh, setting up my team, we got more travel banner. Yeah, not bad, eh? This is Highland's chicken, right? It's been grilled to perfection! Tressa, we're in the woodlands. Or forestlands, whatever it's called. And this square is the best to be found in, Fisher's ba in the Fisher's Bay. Can't you just taste the ocean? Shuck, Tress, you might want to think about slowing down there. Indeed, the girl is so slight. What does she put in it all? Speaking of grub, I suppose you mostly just eat what you want, what you hunt, right? Such is the life of a hunter. When thou needest medicine, thou makest thine own, yes? But of course, I am an apothecary after all. But I can always, but I can always find ingredients I need. Until I hooked up with you, that is. You fetched me darn near everything I've asked for. I'm a proud hunter. It pleases, it pleases me not to fall in or fail in. Uh, Alfin, actually, tr Therrigan and Tressa have been getting your stuff, probably. Then <laughs> more, more than Haunted has. I've got it! Whoa, you gave me a start. You gave me a start there. Suddenly shouting out like that. Thou hast got it? What hast thou got, pray tell? The three of us should go into business together! Huh? What does that mean? You can hunt for ingredients, Alpha to mix them into medicine. And I can take charge of selling the product. We make a perfect team. Don't worry, I'll divide the profits equally and fairly between all of us. Both of you get five percent, and I get the other ninety. Okay? Eventually, that would eventually that would make it the most of our individual talents. That'll make you an intriguing proposal. I know, right? We could really rake it in. So let's do it. What better time than the present? Eh? I declare us open for business. The Tressa makes money. Corporations in business, guys. Er, uh, can I think about this a bit? And I as well. What's there to think about? Come on, you've got to grab the bull by the horns. Thing is, I'm not wanting for money. I too possess all that I need. What's wrong with you guys? You always need more money. That's the whole point of life, isn't it? To get as much money as possible? I never thought making money could be such a deal breaker. Alright, just past this flag here, south of Stoneguard, is the West Everhold Pass. Which will lead us straight into Everhold and the Shrine I want to tackle. Ooh, chest over here. I do have evasive maneuvers on, it's because Trust is level 67. Everyone else is over level 50 now. We have more than enough levels to beat all the Chapter 4s now. So I don't need the experience anymore. But I'll still fight any fights I run into just to get some more job points here and there. I can save real quick. Uh, I can probably save up here and be fine, yeah.
Well, and go south? I, oh, there you go. I thought it was a path here. Uh, sh I think that is the dungeon that's outside of Everhold. We don't want to do yet. Yeah, this is not what we want right now. This is the dungeon outside Everhold. Oh, 55? I guess it was 55. Jesus. <laughs> I wonder if it goes up to the level because of all the chapters we've beaten so far. I mean, normal chapter 4s don't do that, so I don't doubt it would. I wish they did. Because that would be really nice, so that way your final chapter 4 is actually still a tough fight a bit. But it is what it is, though. You want to go behind this pillar here. Back this way. Then we have the Shrine of the Room Blade. Right, I did make Alfin a thief for this, because I need I wanted a thief. So I can get my SP sharing going. Get people with high SP. Right off the bat. I might as well save real quick. Just be the no, I saved it not long ago, but now they're actually in the shrine, I'd rather save again. And let me tell you, this is easily, especially with certain setups, the most broken of all the divine jobs we've been getting. It's just absolutely ridiculous what we can do with the rune blade. And hopefully the fight won't be as much of a pain in the ass as some of the other ones have been. Are we already here? All right, it's right up here. I was a lot of stairs here. <laughs> there it is. All right, we're already here. Thank you, evasive maneuvers, for making this nice and quick. I could have gotten more stuff, but it is what it is. All right, elemental aid. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's the other one I had on? Oh, the surpassing power. <laughs> yeah. So Tressa is gonna be eating her SP like crazy. Like, her SP is going to go flying off the window with everything she has on. Who had... You had this on. Uh, Hank Duffy's what you had before that. So, I definitely don't want you getting killed in one shot. I really want to give Alfin cover, but I also need him to have SP regen. Otherwise, the whole thief setup doesn't work. Alright. Patience is really nice, too, though, because then he can heal us if we need him to. Same with you for having patience, just so I can get some extra turns of her buffs and crap. Really get use out of your uh, seal tj seduction. That's lower health, right? Oh my god! I really wish I could get cover on you, but I have to get rid of something. I could give her heightened healing. But I wanted that on so we have a really high HP pool after healing himself. Actually, you know what? He has elemental defense of 822. I think I can get him really high even without uh, that. So I'll do the cover. And I hope I don't regret that. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and eat some grapes. Alright. Who's not full? Oh, haunt it. There's a barrel. That's fine. I have one normal ass plum. Uh, I can go on to. I can just give like 100, right? To the Antressa. Uh, give it the primrose there. Alright. Should be good what we have. Just double checking, making sure. And let's go through my equipment real quick, too, so you guys can see. I just really hope this pays off. Oh, another thing with a sword we got for Airheart. It actually boosts the attack of all your weapons, not just the sword. So you definitely want the Lingua War Master because she has all the weapons. Alright, let's do this. No random encounter interrupt us? Thank God. <laughs> I got real sick of that. A voice echoes in your head. Hail Traveler. I am Battlegar, the Rune Blade. Thou wilt learn the lost secrets I hold? Then first, thou must prove thy worth. Step forward. There he is. Alright, uh, ooh. Alright, you're actually gonna start out with a leg hole. Oh, my one. Leg hole trap. I want to have plenty of opportunities to figure out who his weaknesses are so I can break him. Alright, you are gonna go ahead and set up BP boost on yourself right away. Hopefully, he won't kill you immediately. Alright, defending. Alright, almost at all of her health. I'm glad she has Hank Tuffong. 
All right. Uh, you're going first next turn. All right. Then in that case, you are going to go ahead. Actually, no, don't share your SP this turn. Heal it instead. That'll be smarter. Go ahead and heal up Primrose. Yeah, that was three thousand without any BP spending. Okay. That's very good. Oh, heightened healing actually affects how much SP regen I get too. I didn't know that. That's cool. All right. He's bound to be weak to at least, well, look how expensive all of our stuff is. Look at it. I'll do an elemental break first, actually. Elemental he's weak break. staff. He's not. Okay. Free turns. Awesome. On. Okay. Uh, let's check for dagger. Or actually, no. Use your thing first. Then we can check for daggers. Matressa. Okay, she's going to eat her BP like a madman. Let's go ahead and check for some elements. I'd rather do that than anything else right now. Dark. All right, found one. Dark. Good. I can exploit that. I just need to figure out what else he's weak to. There's one more thing. Actually, uh, Primrose is a dancer. I can break him right now, then. I don't have to worry about that. Heck yeah. All right, you're actually going to go ahead, spend all your BP on a first aid on yourself. I'll give you the max health when I can. Oh, that's close. <laughs> 8,700 is pretty close to 9999, so I'll take that. Let's do a Moonlight Waltz. I'll help Tressa break him. Uh, you're gonna go ahead. Throw up take aim. Never and once he is broken, you're gonna go ahead. Yeah, look at that. Seventy-two SP just gone. Oh, cool! Right. Free turn. Love to see it. Go for a steel SP. I actually know armor corrosive. This might sting a bit. Now, Hanuk can really hurt him while he's broken. And you are going to go ahead and do a... Ooh, I can set up a thing now. Actually, no, I'm going to use my BP boost to get up to 5. Then I'll do it next turn. I think that's smarter. Peacock Strut Tressa. The peacock strut. <laughs> Alright. Hey, look what we have. My favorite ability. <laughs> Let's see how much we can bully him with this. You look at all this damage we're doing right off the bat! And we forgot all of his weaknesses, too, for weapons. Oh, that's so good. I'm ready. I mean, of course, he's still in white health. He's not going to be that easy. Alright, Dancer. Still to use his induction on yourself. With the grace of Seal Here we go. Alright, you're going to go ahead and share your SP with Haunted. Because she just ate a lot of hers. <laughs> And let's see how much damage we can do. I know all of his weaknesses already. As much as I love doing an elemental break, just get his elemental defense down too. I'd rather just hit him with strong stuff. Uh, you don't have the Blizzard Staff on. I kind of wish I gave you that. Oh well. Uh, let's go for light. We only use light a lot. Wow! Oh my god! 60,000 damage from that! Oh my god! Alright, good. I'm glad I gave her... Actually, I wonder if that counts as physical or elemental, because as we'll learn from how the rune blade works, uh, he hits you with well, how it normally works for the job. Well, I'll talk about it actually when we actually get to the actual job itself. All right, uh, yeah, star song. Yeah, do star song. I probably should have done BP boost first actually, but it's whatever. All right, go ahead and oh, I wish I gave you the double tomahawk now. I oh, he's already in yellow health? Oh my god, we could actually destroy this man then, if we're doing this well. Alright, uh, go ahead, armor corrosive him again. I'll haunt like hole trap him. This might I think again. next turn, we'll be able to actually, uh... Letting my arrow fly in true. Hopefully break him again right away. Because Tress will be able to hit him again three times right now. Which means he only has four left. Three right. turns. I love to see that. All right. Uh, smack him with your axe. He's in red now? Oh my god. We were murdering this poor man. I am ready. He does not stand a chance. Oh my god. You go ahead and set a BP boost on everyone. Yeah, Tressa the Haunt just absolutely bullied him. Oh my god. This is amazing. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing, and I love this. Uh... Oh, you don't have that. Alright, I was going to use the thing, but I can't do that, obviously. 
Uh, yeah, boost the crit rate on everyone. Why not? No, actually, don't do that. Um, this is your. You shoot stars. Some free damage in there. Uh, go ahead and what do we have in here? Uh, none of these hit multiple times that can actually break him. Not that it matters, just just gonna break him right away. Uh, what do I even do with the uh, primrose? I don't even remember. Oh, I used the thing. All right, I don't know. Just do this again. Help Alfin lower his defense again. <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. This poor man. Oh, this poor, poor man. <laughs> I have never bullied any boss this hard before in this game, I don't think. Especially not a shrine fight. This is amazing. I honestly feel kind of bad for him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, how do even have fortitude on too? She didn't even need it. Oh my god. Go ahead and peacock strut. The peacock strut. Trust is probably just gonna absolutely disintegrate this man. Yeah, let's turn him to ashes. Why not? Yep. Goodbye. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't realize how overpowered I actually was for this. I could have had her work her on the friendship badge too. I was really expecting this to be a lot more difficult. And so I just absolutely bullied the poor man. <laughs> that didn't even take, like, probably, like, what, 10 minutes? Oh my god, that's so much better than the Warmaster. It took, like, literally an hour. <laughs> well, now we can break the game even more. Because Tressa is going to learn everything Rune Lord has to learn, or has to offer. Did I go in, like, the opposite direction? I totally went in the opposite direction. Cool. She even gets little wings on her head. Now, none of these are actual attacking moves. All these is imbue your weapon with an element. So you hit them, and then the element attacks second. So you use your physical, and then the magic attack. So basically, everything's a two-head attack now. One physical, and one elemental. Well, But the most important thing here is transfer rune. Because for three turns, skills that normally target yourself alone will target your allies as well. So that way, you can just put your runes on everyone else. However, however... That doesn't just affect the runes here. That affects any ability that only affects the user. And we're also getting this. Deal damage for each of the six elements. Which includes... Sidestep. We can just become immune to physical damage with this for the entire party. Same thing also with rest. Tressa is the most broken character in this game because of this. Because she's the only one that can be a merchant rune blade. So she can heal up everyone's SP, a good amount of HP, and make everyone immune to physical damage. You get a cleric on your party with reflex, and also a. Uh, is it a scholar? Yeah, a scholar. No, it's a dancer. And a dancer, so that you can use Silty to seduction on everyone, so that we can put reflex on everyone. You can just become immune to damage, and it's amazing. It's actually just amazing. Okay. Now that we have done that, we actually can go back to Marcel and then and do some side quests. Because I have more than enough time. There again. You failed so many 80%s now, I'm getting concerned with you. <laughs> this elderly woman of Marslem has lived here for many years, keeping a close watch of the town and its residents. She is respected for the wealth of knowledge she possesses regarding various troubles the people were forced to contend with in the past, uh, in the past, be it those of monsters or men. Okay. Alright, might as well get these finally. I believe I can already do what you need. Oh, you're suing me again. It's Rhea, don't you remember? You helped me recover my stolen letter in Wellspring. I must meet with a certain chieftain who is here visiting this town, but our meeting must remain a secret. 
I must do what I can to discover his usual habits, then corner him at a time when I know he is usually alone. Oh, that was rather my intention. But the situation is complicated. I mustn't reveal myself too soon. Do you think you could assist me? Could you try to find out his daily habits? I promise that once everything has come to, very f to a rightful conclusion, I will explain all. So please, while I know I am asking too much of you, I must beg you, please help me. Alright, so we have to inquire someone here. It's not one of the ones we can already do then. There are some here we already have what we need for. I just don't remember what they are. The Night Ar Night Ardunt has been dispatched to this land to deal with any roving bandits, vicious fiends, or other villainous beings that may be found in many abandoned ruins near Marsalem. Knights of the Order are occasionally tasked with such surveys. Oh, I can't challenge you? God damn it. Of course I can't freaking challenge this man. Uh... Attack to him, young man. He owes a great deal to the old man who lives in this house and remains by his side at all times, so he might eventually repay his debt. What level? 70? Jesus Christ. So much overkill. Not even 70 to challenge that one. Oh, this was the guy from, um, also Victor's Hollow tour Tournament. A spear or axe is your best bet to bring him down the wall. Bring him down the wall. Fire, lightning, and light attacks will also give you a fighting chance. There's some crazy rumor that he's actually a actually a she, but I don't put much stock in it. Are you the Samus Aran of this world? Right, I'm figuring at least try. Alright, it's probably a really good shield then. Uh, oh, you store HP and SP every action. That's actually really good for a uh, old barrack here. Mighty belt. An aristocrat who has lived a life of absolute luxury, flaunting his wealth without reservation and wallowing in, this, in his decadence. His family fell from grace when he was young, but he worked tirelessly to rebuild their estate, and in so doing, earned the right to live in his live his life as he pleases. A master swordsman who, who will fight courageously and without reservation to protect his master. He has no purpose nor desire but this. Oh, God fucking hell. I'm risking these 15% for stuff I'm probably not even gonna use. I have so much money, so I might as well get them. I've lived my whole life till now, enjoying every pleasure to be had in this land. I have seen every beauty of a walk of art, listened to the best orchestras. Tasting the finest meals. Yet of late, I find myself wearying of such things. Is there nothing left for me to discover in this world? There must be something no one else has seen yet. I cannot be I cannot be finished yet. Oh, we don't have a need for that either? I thought we did. A representative of an organization that shall remain nameless, he came to this place to seek out an elderly gentleman who once led the Affirmation Collective Affirmation Collective. His former associates very much desired said gentleman's prompt return, but upon see seeing him living a quiet life with a certain woman, whose own checkered past is best left undiscussed, the representative decided it would be better to leave well enough alone and return home empty-handed. That was all mouthful stuff. Now living in Marsalem together with her husband, this woman once supported herself by working as a thief. She has never divulged this dark past to her husband and intends to take it with her to the grave. Of course, now you give me that. A man who lives with his son. As he spends most of, most of his day working, he makes his son read books to fill the time he cannot look after him. Though he takes pride in being a father, he feels guilty that he cannot spend more time together. This member of the Knights Ardant has been dispatched to this region to observe and report, with an eye toward assessing the faith of the populace, as Marsalem has no church of its own in which the sacred flame can be properly worshipped.
Having spent most of his childhood around books, his young boy developed a passion for reading and now aspires to be a researcher. Though his studies have taught him many things, he has yet to discover a way to talk to his own father. So I'm assuming that was the dad of this guy we just inquired not too long ago. Like down south of here. Also, a city of gold is for the quest that's in um, Alice Dam. You can now do. A woman who supports her husband, a brave knight who serves the realm. Worried that he works too hard, she doesn't. She does what she can to ease his burdens and help him relax when the opportunity arises. Though this new recruit is still un unbloodied, he has very every intention of following in the footsteps of his superiors and becoming a career soldier. His earnest ambition sometimes leads him to try too hard and make mistakes as a result, but even so, the others regard him kindly. Oh my god, Therian is 80% now. Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. Ugh. Therian, why? What the hell is going on here? What the hell? Thank you. Keeping a close watch over the palace gates, this guard glares suspiciously at all who pass King Callum. And decreed that the entrance to the palace be kept open at all times, meaning that people from all walks of life may pass through. As a result, he can do little else but attempt look attempt to look imitating. A distinguished knight who serves the realm, wounded by his mother's harsh words more than ten years ago, he worked a, he worked hard to better himself and vowed to one day return and show her the man he became. All right, so we gotta bring you back to um, what's it called? I'm referred uh, Orwell. So we'll do that at the end here. This Gallery of Marcel, oh, this, yeah, Gallery of Marcel and Palace also serves as the executioner, and so has a black reputation among the bandits and cutthroats throughout the land. However, he is actually a man of great compassion who listens patiently to the final words of those prisoners condemned to death. Require you at least. A prisoner with countless regrets, which he mutters softly to himself over and over again. Truly a wretched sight. Listen. Please, stranger, would you listen to a request from a prisoner who is surely to be put to death? <gasps> I once had a woman I loved, a woman called Lara. I suppose her name means nothing to you, but before I die, I need to know whatever happened to her, please. Prisoner's plea. I thought he had the stuff for this stuff already, but I guess not. Alright, well, I'll have to figure that out later, then. Or we, maybe we just won't do them. <laughs> a sworn knight whose sense of duty is second to none. Though as though as tough as anyone on the battlefield, he is a sweet man to his wife, but prefers to keep his true disposition a secret from his troops. Ooh, a second robe of flame. Nice. Time. A young man and descendant of servants to the crown, he is held in high regard by both the king and general for his great wisdom. His handsome face has also earned him many admirers around the kingdom. A chief who just a chief who deplores not being chosen as king as a great at the great assembly. He rules his tribe with iron fist, forcing his people to bend to his will. Alright, so that's the guy she needs to meet. So I got the info we needed for that at least. A man with a strong moral code, he decided to serve as a guard of Marslim that it might give him the opportunity to punish the wicked and protect the righteous. The impending birth of his first child has only further strengthened his dedication to his duty. I swear to god, this other guard also has the same exact dialogue as you. I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> this is not Riverford, I know, but that still could be a thing. 
Until quite recently, the guard of Marsalem served in Wellspring. Before that, he worked as a sentry at a border crossing, and before that, as a soldier in recon reconnaissance. In, in a reconnaissance force, okay. It should come as no surprise to these already growing borders' newest pos posting, and he's considering requesting yet another transfer. <laughs> Maybe you should just get a different kind of job, my dude. I mean, you clearly don't like this. You're getting this bored as fast. All your jobs. Alright, as it turns out, this is actually the only quest that's in here we can do right now. Uh, the one with the prisoner and the guy below us. We cannot do yet until we get to Grandport. Wait, what? Yes. Would you, would you perhaps consider coming with me? Oh, I had to talk to you twice. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do I have a, the pleasure of speaking with the Chief of Sunshade? <laughs> oh, you don't interrupt me when I'm at my leisure, you. You, your highness. Please forgive me for not introducing myself sooner, sir. Yes, I am Gloria, daughter to the King Callum. Though at, I will, though at present, I am a traveler and nothing more. You are a trouble to your guards, Douglas. Did you sneak off alone on a dangerous journey, hoping to disguise your identity? So I did. It has been a good journey, and I have learned much while visiting the desert towns. I have learned, for example, of your scandalous behavior here. Scandalous? What proof do you have of any such any such thing? I have all the proof that I should need in this letter. I trust that it looks familiar to you. Uh, you audacious, overstepping cheat of a girl! Oi, out of my way, you lowlifes! Don't you know who I am? No, you are the one who should cease the shameless act, sir. <laughs> Utilizing the pleasure core to launder money. Grabbing others to your own advantage, and using people as though they were no more than slaves. This is too much to overlook, sir. I will be taking this evidence to my father. I hope you are prepared for what is to come. I... I only... When I was not chosen as king at the Great Assembly, it... It was such a shock, I... I... If that was the case, all you should have done is wait for the next Great Assembly. The Great Assembly is not held in secret. All you had to do was come and plead your case before the Assembly Chiefs. It's not as simple as you make it out to be. If it was so, I wouldn't have needed to resort to such things. I have been traveling the desert to find proof of the Chiefs' actions. But it was largely thanks to your assistance that I was able to succeed. I will never forget this journey, or you. Getting to know kind people like you has been the greatest joy I've discovered on my journey. Thank you. Princess's coat. Probably an invasion if I had to guess, considering she's from the Sunshades. Uh, where are you? I'm really glad we had two of those, though. There you are. Oh, I'm wrong. HP of that reaction. Okay. So, not great. <laughs> Alright, uh, I got Ophelia, so I can guide the dude now. Time to finally finish this quest. We got picked up in, like, what, episode 4. And now we're in freaking what, episode, what, 90 almost? <laughs> it feels like it, at least. The Legend of the Golden City? This sounds promising. There was once a lord in a distant island nation, far to the east, and one day he had a dream. A voice spoke to him and said, I will grant you one wish. The Lord thought it was the voice of a god, so the Lord answered without thinking. Make the city into a utopia where no one will go hungry, where no one will ever grow old or ill. His wish was heard and overnight the entire city was turned to gold. And in that city of gold there were none who went hungry. No old age and no illness. Alright, where's the monkey's paw effect? Come on, we know it's gonna happen. 
Do you hear that? Such a wondrous place. Though it still sounds more like fantasy than truth. It has the romantic appeal of a legend, to be sure. Books are such a delight, aren't they? And this one's a prime example. I have to be sure to tell everyone to read it. Thanks for helping me learn more about the City of Gold. I feel so much better now for, better now for knowing more. Another alluring ribbon. Ugh. Well, I don't want to... I mean, if you're grinding, it'd be good, I guess, but... I'm trying to not get into fights now. I'm, like, stupidly over -lovered. Trust is level 67. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And now for you. Truth is... It was over, I guess, yes, yes, yes. Well, here is your full-grown... I have your damn son! What? Did I get the wrong guy? <laughs> yeah, I wanted this guy instead, actually. I grabbed the wrong guy by accident. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, I found your son. That's not my son! I don't know who this man is, but he's definitely not my son. I mean, did you know that? You haven't seen him in 10 years. A lot, that, a lot can happen in 10 years, lady. All right, now I have your son. I, you, you better actually listen to me. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Upon oh. my faith, it's not truly you. Hello, mother. I'm so sorry for what I said. I've regretted it every single day since you left. To call my own son a little little ass. How awful I was. I never once forgot it either. Every day I recall those words. They made me the man I've become. And I'm finally here to get my revenge. <laughs> From morning to eve, I trained. I shirked no task or labor. I was determined to prove you wrong. Now I'm a sworn knight of Marcelim. And with this sword, I shall cut you down. <laughs> you are? What a fine armor you wear. Lad, you are a proper knight. You proved me wrong, my son. And I couldn't be happier. You've made me proud as can be. No, you make me feel good. Now I can't get my revenge anymore. Oh, no. Thank you. I'm sorry, too, for leaving you alone all these years. Oh, that was nice. And with that, I think that's going to be this up into the episode here. Next time, we'll be doing Primrose's Chapter 4. There are some more side quests we can do. Uh, Alaic is now available in Victor's Hollow for a quest that involves this goddamn dungeon again. So, hooray. But other than that, that's the only other quest we can do right now. Everything else that we have locked has been completed, which is insane to me. I don't mean to 100% this game, but it seems like I'm going to 100% this game whether I want to or not. Well, we do have these two dungeons here. We have Muslim Catacombs and the Everhold Tunnels, but if I have time for these, we will do them after we do Everhold and whatever nonsense quest we have there. And then we finally have Tressa's, and yeah, that's the end of it. We're getting there. We're so close to the end. I just wish uh, I had more time. Because <laughs> Octopath 2 comes out on the 24th. And I'm definitely not going to get all the episodes out by then. Nope. I'll just start uploading a bunch per day if I did that. But I don't really think I should. Well, regardless. Uh, let me know what you want actually on that. Do you want just a crap ton of episodes out, out once? Just to, so we can get out them all out in time for Octopath Traveler 2. Do you want me to skip out on some more of the post content here? Like some of these optional dungeons. Some of these side quests. Because a lot of these post chapter 4 side quests actually give you pretty good rewards. That's why I kind of want to keep doing them. Because they've been doing, giving us some pretty good rewards. But otherwise, that will do it for this episode. Hope you all have a wonderful time, and I'll see you all next time in Everhold. Bye.